Get it together. Do your part. Get it together. Hit this curve up, slide it. Notice when you mad, ain't no words, just silence. Do my favorite color. I'm so excited. You say that I'm tripping, I hit that like where you taking me. Locked in for life, oh God. I have on these pants, but they got a fat freaking hole in them. welcome or welcome back if you aren't new here but if you are my name is Sinia and it's so good to see you like welcome to my channel I hope you guys are here to stay for a while if you like this video if you've been liking my pregnancy journey please hit the subscribe button and comment down below like if you're pregnant like what's going on you know today I decided to pick up the camera and vlog and just take you guys along my week this week this this week was actually supposed to be the week of preparations for our huge, beautiful, beautiful gender reveal, but our gender reveal has been canceled and it is being changed in a work of process. We're not sure what we're going to do with finding out the gender, but last week was a really rough week for me. It was filled with emotions and a lot of drama just a whole bunch of stuff and it affected me a lot um so this week i'm taking the time even if it's not exactly the same preparation that i was gonna do beforehand i'm taking the time to really tap into my self-love and self-care i think it's important to not forget about yourself and I feel like I have done that. It's been very, very, very emotional, especially knowing that I won't get the gender reveal that I wanted, you know, we wanted, but I'm putting my worries in God's hands and I'm just trying to not cry anymore because I already cried twice today and then yesterday it just oh I was a lot so we're gonna take it day by day but I definitely wanted to record because y'all pregnancy isn't perfect and I feel like my pregnancy has been a really bad experience for me not necessarily like physically but just a people that have been around things that I've been put in so it's been really 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 hard and challenging and I wish like for every girl who either has went through the same thing or is going through the same thing I wish I could give all of us just a big hug because it's already hard to be pregnant but it's even more hard when you're in tough and horrible situations all I know is is that everything's gonna be okay and we're gonna continue to keep going and keep pushing and letting God handle it I have yet to eat this morning so ugh. I'm gonna make me something. I'm not sure what I want to eat, but I know that Jordan actually went grocery shopping yesterday. Thank the Lord. And he know exactly like everything I like. So he pretty much got everything I like. So I'm gonna see what to eat because y'all, I am so hungry. I haven't had an appetite for a couple of days, but today I'm like, I need to eat. I can't keep doing this to me and, and the baby. Mommy's out there, make sure you take your vitamins, especially your prenatal. But even if you're not pregnant or a mommy, take your vitamins. My hair looks a little bit crazy today. And Nutella is playing with her own tail, but bless you, we're gonna keep the show going. So I've been telling you guys, well, I think, bless you. Bless you, mamas. 
but I, I've been telling you guys about me journaling. I think I only told you guys once and it was in my pregnancy vlog, my first one. And I was basically saying like, at first I, you know, would journal because I went through like heartbreak and stuff like that. And as time went on, I found different healing mechanisms or ways to cope with that heartbreak. So I stopped really journaling and the pages just become became repetitive so I just was like I think I'm kind of done with journaling this season but as soon as I found out I was pregnant I decided to start journaling again to my baby and I always title it dear baby and I just either write about my day or like my pregnancy or you know what's been going on and stuff like that and I only did it twice um you guys see me do it before and then I did it off camera obviously it has really been helping me with this rough time going on. I forgot how much journaling is so peaceful because, sorry guys, Nutella is eating and I'm not about to tell her to like not eat because I'm recording, but when you're pregnant, at least for me, you have this pregnancy rage you wild out and you scream and you yell and you get so angry i really do feel like jordan got it the worst out of everybody but lately i've been having pregnancy rage it got so bad that like i don't know i just was so snappy i felt like i couldn't handle my emotions anymore so i definitely want to work on that especially before the baby gets here and you know it's just a self reflection moment like do you really want to be this person like you work so hard to not be so angry anymore and it feels like you're shifting back and granted you're pregnant I'm pregnant so like it's understandable but only to a certain extent because I can't hold that pregnancy line for so long until it's like girl you're also an adult like get it together do your part get it together so journaling has been helping me and i decided like let me just journal because before i was about to like start filming or whatever i wasn't gonna do anything today like i just was gonna ride in bed and wait for jordan to get home from work but i have to learn to do stuff for myself i have to take control of my circumstance i have to know that i'm god's child and things may happen my life may shift around and do a whole 360 that i wasn't planning on but everything's gonna be okay you know what i'm saying like i need to know everything's gonna be okay i can't just have strong faith when god is blessing me consistently continuously i have to have faith when it's foggy and the road is hard to steer on and things are just not looking good for me and it feel like my life is falling apart and i know i'm talking a lot but y'all don't act like you don't like it it's like no nah. you might be like girl this girl's talking 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 but i just for real wanted to make this call so real y'all my lips are crazy but i wanted to make this video so real like not only is this therapeutic for me but i know that this can also really help as many girls out there as it's helping me hours later and it's literally 7 23 and my nephew and my sister came over after i journaled and it was really really nice i needed that right now so i was just bonding with them my nephew is just like he's a newborn so i love to capture little moments but as far as like posting him a lot i'm just not really comfortable with it and i'm sure like my sister and my brother probably feel the same way a little bit but that's why i didn't really pick up the vlog because it was like time with me him and my sissy of course and i love my sissy like 
I'm so attached to her. <laughs> ever since I got pregnant, ever since I was little, I was always the annoying little sister. But now that I got pregnant, I'm like attached to my sister. I want to see her every single day. I just want to talk to her. I want to be near her. She just helped me a lot and so does my brother. So I love them. Such a beautiful family. But me and Jordan are going to make some spaghetti. Jordan is craving spaghetti and I'm craving hamburger helper. So we're going to make two different meals. We have a lot of meats because Jordan went grocery shopping yesterday. I think I told you guys. I'm not too sure. So we're going to do that. So make some dinner with us, guys. What's up, guys? Ladies and gents, um, hamburger. We're going to do spaghetti tonight. As Nia has already told what I season my hamburger with, whatever I make hamburger, y'all might season it different. We got Larry's. The crazy thing about this Larry's bottle is me and Nia went to Walmart and the lady was looking at me so crazy <laughs> when I asked her what it, where's the Larry's. Like, she looked at me like, she ain't know what Larry's was. I'm like, lady, if you ain't have Larry's, you ain't living and that's on broke. Anyways. Oh, my gosh. We got garlic powder. Some must have. Olive powder. And don't mind me right now. I just worked a long day and I haven't got no sleep last night. I really didn't get no sleep, but don't mind me. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm pretty tired, guys. So work with me. We got onion powder and black pepper. Let's start seasoning it up. So I'm just putting the meat in the pan right now. I still gotta break it up. Good morning guys, good morning. It is Tuesday, February 27th, 1055. It's literally about to be March 1st and I'm so excited, like I cannot wait. I'm so excited. But I woke up this morning and guys, I had a really weird dream. My dream was very, very weird and very scary. Yeah, so I that kind of like put me on edge. But I said a really good prayer. Spent that time with God while I was praying. Um, that's like my time in the morning with him. I also spent a little bit time with Jordan before he went to work. That's why you guys haven't like really seen much of him because he is at work. He started a new job. I'm actually really proud of him and he's currently in training. So yeah, that's the reason why he's been like kind of MIA in this vlog. But yesterday, um, after I was journaling, I really wanted to take a walk. But then I got on my phone and my sister came and I kind of got like distracted. So I'm actually going to take that time to go on a walk today. I like to make a lot of excuses and I like to put a lot of things off. If my mental health is not where it needs to be, I'm definitely going to push myself to get back or not even get back to how I used to be, become better, become a better person and become better mentally. I was a little bit like, ugh, a walk. I'm like, girl, no, you have to do it. And it's also really good to get your, get your walks in while you're pregnant. Like, it helps. Sorry, guys. It helps ease um, with, like, with your labor. And that's all I really know. But I just know that it's good to get, like, a daily exercise in. And I typically get that done at work because I walk around in the airport. But we're going to walk in our new neighborhood. It's so beautiful. Our neighborhood is actually way bigger than I thought. But it's such a blessing to be able to say like, oh, we're going to walk in our own neighborhood. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And this morning, I'm going to start with brushing and flossing my teeth. Because can, can we be honest? Can we be honest? I did not brush my teeth yesterday. I literally was holding my nephew and I did not brush my teeth. And I'm like, Tania. How did you not brush your teeth yesterday? How? And I know some days when you're in the bed and you're being like a little bum and you don't brush your teeth, but like, I'm getting too old. I gotta get my stuff together. Whether I'm going through it or not, I still need to manage to take care of myself. So I was a little bit annoyed. Like, oh my gosh, I really did not brush my teeth. So we're gonna start our morning with brushing these Let me show y'all. I have on 
and then I have on these pants, but they got a fat freaking hole in them. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking pretty ghetto, but it, it's okay. I'm also gonna put some of this on. I had this for literally like what feels like two years, which might be actually nasty now that I said that out loud, but it's one of my favorites. This and another one that my mom bought me, it's actually Champagne Toast Lip Mask from Bath & Body Works. It's really good. But I don't know if it's just me, but my lips have been so chapped. My pregnancy and winter, like really bad. And then when I do put on like a lip mask or whatever, it's like white stuff on my lip. It it looks nasty. It looks really nasty. And I gotta make sure that I'm taking my vitamins. So we're gonna take that. Nutella is super excited to go on this walk because she's always in the house. So I'm actually really excited to take her on the walk. I'm gonna bring her stroller too. And we're gonna have some fun, girl. We're gonna have some fun. I also, your girl is talking a lot this morning, but I also wanted to tell you guys that U of M is bringing us groceries today. So I know last, well, my first pregnancy vlog, I told you guys about them, but I never got to show you guys like what they brought over. But today, I promise I will get my butt up and show you guys. So let's take these vitamins and let's head on the road. that I was gonna show you guys what we got from U of M. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I love this program so, so, so much. So anytime I mention it in my videos, I'm gonna make sure that I have it in the description box so that way you guys can join. I think it's like a all year thing, like it goes on all the time. So make sure you guys clock in. Sure. Starting off, we have bananas which is good because our bananas are bad i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys last video but they come twice a month so it's every two weeks that they come we also have sweet potatoes i don't typically eat sweet potatoes but honestly i can try this and make a little like nice recipe with them because i feel like sweet potatoes would be fire if you make them correct so i'm gonna leave these in the bag then oh my gosh i love my vegetable options that they gave me or that they chose for me but i got some broccoli the broccoli that they sent over two weeks ago actually expired so i've been wanting to make some broccoli with like some pork chops and potatoes so i can make cheesy broccoli i love broccoli like broccoli so good to me and then they always give us this lettuce and this lettuce is so good it is the artisan lettuce it's great for salad sandwiches and wraps and it's so freaking good like i love this lettuce and then for fruit, which I didn't make sure that I'm eating my fruit. And I'm just eating things in the fridge overall because I tend to forget that we have stuff. But they sent over these pineapples and they actually sent me these pineapples last time. And whew, I'm so excited they sent it over again. It expires March 1st. Y'all, they sent over strawberries i'm so excited i haven't had strawberries in a really long time so i'm really happy y'all i'm so happy they sent over these kiwi which i love 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 kiwi but they sent over like a yellow kiwi last time and i have a wick card if you guys don't know what that is it's basically where the government gives you a card and you can buy a lot of stuff for you and your baby and uh it's for groceries let me state that but i get vegetables and stuff and fruit on my wick card 
part and the yellow kiwi was so freaking good the one that they sent me that i had to go get one on my own with my wick card and this is what it looks like and it's so good and i like it because it's not as sweet as um this kiwi is the original but y'all it's it's so freaking good we sent over oranges we have little cutie oranges but it's always good to have big oranges too i'm gonna get like a smoothie blender so that way i can like make so much fruit um to make so much fruit make so many smoothies and then we have apples we we still have some apples too but these are really good i love apples and then last but not least we have some yogurt i love this yogurt this yogurt is my favorite it's from the brand activia i typically get vanilla but i have peach vanilla and i think i also have strawberry yeah so yep i got a strawberry as well so i got a lot of yogurt so i'm excited about that and then i also got some kobe cheese which i love cheese so i'm really excited y'all i'm so excited that is so good and i really appreciate this program because life is already hard itself paying rent is already a lot but groceries like i have to pay to eat is crazy but that's the that's the world we live in but i'm excited i'm gonna put these up and i'm gonna make sure i eat craving chipotle since i've been pregnant and i feel like i haven't had it in like three months so i'm gonna treat myself to some chipotle because today has been all about self-care i woke up this morning i cleaned the house and i um went to go get my wax appointment which i haven't got a wax in like three months as well and i'm gonna get my eyebrows done possibly but i just want to run in and grab me some food because i do have to pick up jordan but y'all i'm so excited so Come along with me and my crusty lips. Guys, I'm at Jordan's job right now. First off, Jordan has a really cool job. Like, I'm so proud of him. It's honestly really cool. Like, he showed me the inside of it on FaceTime, and it's so cool. Like, it's actually really nice. And the area that he works in is also really, really pretty. So, I'm hoping that we can possibly, like, move out here or something like that. I literally was praying to God that the car didn't break down because I didn't go get gas. I am waited to pick up Jordan so he can pump gas because I never pump gas. So, I was like he can just do it it's fine but i'm actually really excited to see him i had a great day um by myself and i've been spending a lot of quality time by myself but i miss him a lot and we're just so used to like seeing each other throughout the day but the schedule he has now takes up more majority of his day so i pretty much spend the day by myself but i'm starting to like get used to that because i will be a stay-at-home mom soon so i'm trying to find things that like i can do and things that will help me mentally and physically and this self-care was needed like it was really good sorry my jacket looks like that but this self-care day was really really needed i probably didn't do everything that i wanted to do because i do want to get my eyebrows done but we also have church tonight so i might have to do that tomorrow but you guys will see the whole process of everything so that's perfectly fine i'm just trying to figure life out honestly i really am i also have a hair appointment on friday too guys and i'm really excited about that because i haven't had my hair straightened in a minute i am struggling with like some heat damage heat damage <laughs> i said heat damage is damage right here like where my bangs are but i'm not too stressed out about that i honestly like having my hair done because it just 
I don't know. It's just way easier, especially when I'm working, especially when I'm pregnant. I used to be that girl that would wake up every single day and slick their hair down, but now I, I'm definitely not that girl at all. Like, gel is not my friend. Me and gel are not, no longer like this, okay? But conditioner, yeah, that's my girl. Like, I'll slap some conditioner in my hair and call it a day and that's probably why it's been going like crazy but that's besides the point i can't wait for you guys to see how my hair looks the girl who's doing it is not my original girl which i was a little bit worried about it's actually someone i went to high school with and booking with someone you used to go to high school with can be like so scary sometimes because i wasn't the best version of myself in high school and yeah like i was a little bit nervous i was a little bit worried i was a little bit scared but i'm like what's the worst can happen it's not like me and this person had any problems or anything it's just high school me was just so horrible um they agreed to do my hair and we're gonna get my hair done i'm just talking at this point because i'm waiting for jordan i actually really miss him i do <laughs> that is it that is all for this week's video i'm literally uploading it or editing it the same exact day that it goes up i just had to finish some touches and i wanted to end the video off with a little message i know that for me my pregnancy has been so hard on me mentally physically emotionally um just going through so many things either you're pregnant and going through the same thing or you're not pregnant and life is just beating you up right now i pray that you take this vlog as whatever you're going through does not define you for one and for two to keep going like in the beginning of this vlog you can tell i was very like shallow if that makes sense and i just wasn't as like happy or energetic i just was kind of like hey guys but at the end of this vlog i got my hair done you know i was taking care of myself i took myself out on a date like i was doing little by little for myself but it fulfilled me and i just want to say like take that time to yourself love yourself take care of yourself everything that you are going through right now is not gonna stay in your life forever it's not gonna be here forever the pain is not gonna be here forever so keep going keep going you're struggling with your mental health you're struggling physically whatever the case may be keep freaking going okay so thank you so much for watching this video life does turn back around and things do get better and i'll continue to document my life whether it's in a good state or a bad state and i will share what i can and what i don't that's fine too just know life be life and for real but i love you guys and i appreciate you guys so much for all the love and support that i've been getting i just i just want to say that we got this Bye. That's neither there. Wait, how do they say that? We're not even gonna get into it, okay? So I've been I already said that. My lips are also crusty. I got a lot going on.